Welcome back to Simming History, where we look at the history of architecture through the lens of The Sims. Before we get started today, if you like the video, please take a moment to hit like and subscribe. It helps out the channel. Today, we are looking at the father of glamorous Hollywood, Paul Revere Williams. What do you picture when you think of old classic Hollywood? The houses of celebrities? Retro motels with distinctive appearances? The Beverly Hills Hotel, perhaps? The use of pink and green and gold? Well, that was all Paul Williams. Born in 1894 in LA and a graduate of Southern California University, he became one of the most sought after architects in LA and even Las Vegas. During the Second World War, he worked for the Navy Department designing bases. And during this extensive career, which ranged from the 1920s into the 1960s, he is believed to have designed over 2,000 buildings. Many of his designs are well known even today, such as the redesign of the Beverly Hills Hotel, the LAX theme building, in which he collaborated with three other firms, the Concha Hotel in Las Vegas, now a museum, and most notably, his houses. Paul Williams was known at the time as the architect of the stars, and he designed the homes of some of the biggest names of the era, such as Frank Sinatra and Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. But Paul Williams is not only important because he designed a fancy hotel or the mansions of movie stars, he's also important because he had this amazing career while being a black man in a very exclusive profession during what was a very segregated time. Paul acknowledged his difficulty, but also said, quote, if I allow the fact I am a Negro to checkmate my will to do now, I will inevitably form the habit of being defeated. He knew how hard it was, but he did it anyway. And though he was not the first black American architect, he was the first to be accepted into the AIA, the American Institute of Architects, our national professional organization. Though he is famous for his hotels and large houses, what he would consider his most important impact would be his low income and public housing projects. After all, he once said, quote, expensive homes are my business and social housing is my hobby. He wanted design to be available to everyone, regardless of social standing or income. So he spent a good chunk of his time designing for normal people, including low income public housing projects, like those at Pueblo del Rio in California, but also the Berkeley Square housing project, which is what I've been building. Located in Las Vegas, Nevada, the Federal Housing Authority, in 1947, sought to build a 40-acre neighborhood of homes for Black Americans. These were meant for middle-class Black Americans, so like teachers, doctors, professors. Paul's time in the Navy reportedly served him well. He understood government needs simple, easy to build, sturdy buildings with little variation whose appearance could easily and cheaply be altered. And that's exactly what he designed. In the end, he designed two models, including the one I'm building. And although research suggests these were meant to be two bedroom, it seems to be online that they are all three bedroom. Now, probably because he was a black architect, it was actually very difficult to find records of any of his buildings. Habs has failed us. Instead, I had to resort to looking onto online real estate listings to try to piece together what the layout of these homes included. The model I'm building, well, it has a car spot, not a garage. 
There's a side door that opens into a small kitchen. And then from there you can go into what I assume is meant to be the dining room because it's an awfully big space to just be an entryway. And of course the living room. And those three rooms make up the front of the house. And the back of the house is made up with three bedrooms. One right after the other. And in the middle dividing these two halves is a hallway and bathroom. And that's it. There seems to be a little small storage unit at the end of the the car area, but that's, that's the appearances were able to be altered by little tiny adjustments. What kind of windows, their sizing, um, exterior wall materials, you know, stucco versus siding, half walls of brick. How the windows were even set in the wall. Were they just set normally or were they they have little pop-outs and of course the roof line some rooms are gable some are hip little itty bitty tiny things that you could change so that every house looked slightly different but in reality there were only two floor plans in this neighborhood now the interiors I'm doing are obviously not public housing interiors instead to dress it up, I thought I'd go for his Beverly Hills Hotel style of interior design. In fact, they even still today have a Paul R. Williams suite at the Beverly Hills Hotel that you can go and stay in. And it's really just the epitome of his choice of colors and his use of metallics. So I thought it'd be fun to mix his two styles here. Now I mentioned that he faced some challenges as being an early black American architect. And today, well, architecture is getting better. But it has always been an exclusive profession. Even today, in 2022, only 17% of American architects are women, 2% are black, and 0.4% are black women. And all of these numbers are much higher than what they were in 1950s. The number of black female architects, for example, has more than doubled in just the past 15 years. Architecture is changing just like everything else, but even as demographics of the architecture education is improving, it's now about 50-50 men, women. The licensure rates remain lower for women and minorities, largely because of the lack of resources and support. Getting licensed is incredibly expensive and very time consuming. So though the culture is changing and improving, there's still a lot of work to do. And I've got some links down below that go into more detail if you're interested. Today, the buildings of Paul Revere Williams are thankfully valued and guarded. Many of them are on the National Register of Historic Places. Berkeley Square is a historic neighborhood, and these things provide some protections. Many of his buildings are available for touring, owning, or even staying in such as the Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz house. So thankfully his work does not seem to be going anywhere. Thanks for joining me today for the work of Paul Revere Williams. Until next time, you can find me on Instagram at Simming History and on the Sims 4 Gallery at Simming History, where there will be a playable version of this build and many others on this channel. Thank you to all the new subs. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe. When we hit a thousand, I am going to do a live build, so subscribe and share. See you all next time. Until then, bye.